I am from Yakima, Washington. A smaller town in Indiana. Grew up in the suburbs in Colorado. In Massachusetts. I did live in Phoenix originally. I remember that road trip out here, bringing everything out to Los Angeles and feeling for the first time, I'm going to a place where you can live off your creativity. I either wanted to be a cardiologist or an actor. So I applied to a lot of pre-med programs. Looking back now, I can't imagine my life if I would have gone down that path. It would be awesome to be in something that a lot of people could see. I don't want to confuse that with celebrity. I think in America, we've created this idea of success as a lot of money and a lot of fame. Originally, I wanted my own show with my name on it. Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous was what, you know, that's success. Everyone coming out of film school, I think, has this idea that I'm going to break in and be the Steven Spielberg in two years. Then two years go by and you, you hit reality of what you are. And I think from there, people make this decision of, do I run home or do I find a route and still try to break in in some way? I remember people saying, if you're thinking about doing anything other than acting, that means you don't love it enough. And I think that advice is bullshit. You rarely see people's journey. You see the end result. You see people on TV. So that's the only experience I have of what it means to be an actor. There are so many people that are always about to do something or they're going to do something, but they're afraid to do it. For me, acting was an outlet. It was an escape. It was to be something else, to, or to explore other parts of me that I couldn't explore in real life. I am not the best director to come out of the film school we went to, but I'm the one who's doing it. Don't stop if it's your passion. You don't stop. You keep going, and there's always going to be ups and downs and ups and downs. It's a constant up and down career. I just think there's so many adventures. There's so many opportunities that present themselves. It's not the end goal. It's the, the process that makes you. And one of the things that I love is that LA attracts people who are following their dreams.